You work with your wife as an editor. Was she your editor before she became your wife? Uh, she, was, she was an editor working on other films when we were doing television and so on. And how do you handle that? Do you, do you sit in, the, in an editing room together when she's cutting? Um, well, she has a cutting room, and there's several cutting rooms where assistants yeah. and so on are working. And in her case, uh, I've learned at certain moments to just let, let her do her, her own thing because she's the one editor I've worked with who often can see things that I can't see. And, and, uh, and my first impulse is to say, well, that's not going to work. Mm. And most times I find I'm right, but if I let her do it, she'll always surprise me and say, oh, that's a much better solution. Such as? I can't come in. They're, they're small incremental moments, that, uh, and a film like Fury Road is made up of that. It's a mosaic art in that the sense. The editing is just extraordinary in that film. Yeah, um, and that's, that's... Did you her... disagree about anything in that editing? A, a, a lot. She, she did say to me, uh, I'm here to stop you embarrassing yourself. <laughs> and, and she did. And, and she's got a much lower uh, boredom threshold than I have, wow. so she'll get very bored with repetition. And, 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 you know, it's not just stringing whole bits of action together because it can become very boring. It's looking for some very strong causal connection, causal connection one shot to the next, very much like a composer would put, would put uh, mu you know, the music together, looking at, at, chordal, at you know, chordal progression, melodic line, tempo, and all those things. There's similar conversation. Do you ever go home and you just don't talk because you're both so? No, it was, it, we usually talk. It, it, even if it's an argument, it's approaching mm -hmm. something. We, we debrief, and uh, and then you know, we, 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 then we're talking with our kids and so on. Um, the the only tensions we had uh, it would be in the cutting room where um, we'd have a disagreement uh, uh, over something or, or just the the sheer hard work of managing the footage and, and it's like doing a massive Rubik's Cube, how to yeah. get everything to align. Uh, and, uh, and, and that, it's amazingly draining just to do that, mm. that, 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 that work. And I knew that at certain moments it was far better for me not, uh, to, to just let, let her be and do it. And she'd work it out. And I'd come back and... And uh, I'd say, and I'd say, oh yes, yeah, you've you, you've solved it. Mm. And she'd say, you really think I do? Because she's dead in, mm. in, in the nitty gritty, nitty gritty of it. And and that was just a wonderful thing because, but it wasn't. Uh, the, the main tension was in the cutting room about both trying to solve a problem. You know why? You know, and I'm always self-flagellating. Why did I do that as a mm. director? Why oh, didn't I do this? Yeah. Do you ever lose your temper? Um. Not a lot, uh, because I find, uh, certainly on set, it, I find it's very counterproductive. Mm. Uh, people can't do their best work unless they're very relaxed, and, mm. and uh, particularly when you're doing stuff that you know, has high risk and stunts, stunt like that, uh, stunts and things like that. We had really wonderful stunt crew and camera crew, mm. and one of the things that defined them was a kind of very relaxed discipline. There was always a lot of humor, but underneath, everyone realized that we were doing something very, very serious. So, um, so I found that the few times that I might have lost my temper, uh, you know, through c my career, uh, it was it 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 it's not very uh, useful at all. Uh, someone loses their dignity, and it's usually me. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and and it's not it's not the way to to work yeah. together as a team. 